the royal family of Jordan, visit the central body of region of Jordan. The Col Grand Ducal releases new photos of the hereditary Grand Ducal family of Luxembourg. And the royal court of Norway releases a new Easter photo and message from the royal family in Oslo. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. In Oslo, the Royal Court of Norway released a new photo of Their Majesties King Harald V and Queen Sonia of Norway, Their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Haakon and Crown Princess Metamite of Norway, Her Royal Highness Princess Ingrid Alexandra of Norway, and His Highness Prince Sver Magnus of Norway, on the occasion of Easter week. In their message, the royal family wished everyone a, quote, very happy Easter, end quote. The royal family are spending Easter week together at Bigadeau Konsgård. And I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. But hey, that's okay. It's the beginning of the episode. I have a lot more time to screw up. On Tuesday in Stockholm, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, held an audience with the Executive Director of the United Nations World Food Program, Mrs. Cindy McCain, at the Royal Palace. In Luxembourg City, the Col Grand Ducal released new photos of their Royal Highnesses, Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume and Hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie of Luxembourg, His Royal Highness, Prince Charles of Luxembourg, and His Royal Highness, Prince Francois of Luxembourg, on the occasion of Prince Francois's first birthday. Prince Francois Henri Louis Molly Guillaume, the second child of the hereditary Grand Ducal couple of Luxembourg, was born at the Grand Duchess Charlotte Maternity Hospital in Luxembourg City. And with that, happy birthday, Prince Francois. I hope you had a wonderful day. Aw, he's so sweet. He's such a happy baby. Meanwhile, in Luxembourg City, their royal highnesses, hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume and hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie of Luxembourg, met with over 100 students from seven Centers for Intellectual Development, CDI, participating in Young Athletes Day held at Le Coq. According to the Creux Grand Ducal, Young Athletes Day organized by the Special Olympics Luxembourg, aims to encourage students to participate in sports. Quote, 12 workshops presented different disciplines adapted to children with mental disabilities. The highlight of the visit was the race in which the Royal Highnesses also participated. End quote. In Brussels, His Majesty King Philippe of the Belgians, received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to the Kingdom of Belgium at Chateau de Lacum. The newly appointed ambassadors are from the Slovak Republic, the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, the Republic of India, and the Republic of Ecuador. Each new ambassador accredited to the Kingdom of Belgium presents his or her letters of credence to the sovereign. The Letters of Credence is an official document in which a foreign head of state informs a sovereign that he or she has recently appointed the ambassador as the official representative in the kingdom. Upon receiving the Letters of Credence, formalizes his or her entry into office in the Kingdom of Belgium. Meanwhile, Her Majesty, Queen Mathilde of the Belgians, held a meeting with young students at Chateau de Lacun. According to the Royal Court of Belgium, during the meeting, students, quote, shared with the Queen about their experiences and challenges they face completing their studies while working full-time, end quote. This afternoon, Her Imperial Highness, Princess Aiko of Japan, arrived at the Kashihara Shrine to visit the mausoleum of Emperor Jimu, the first emperor of Japan. Emperor Jimu is said to be the descendant of the goddess of the sun, Amaterasu, 
the highest deity in the Shinto religion, and the goddess Storm, Susano. During the visit, the 22-year-old princess presented the Tamagushi, a ritual offering consisting of a small branch of the Sakaki tree with white strips of cloth, either in silk, cotton, or wasi. Earlier in the day, Princess Aiko visited the Saiku Historical Museum in the town of Meiwa. Next month, the princess will begin working as a contract employee at the Japanese Red Cross Society in Tokyo. His Majesty King Jimne Kesar Wangchuk of Bhutan continued his state visit to the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Her Majesty Queen Jetson of Bhutan, His Royal Highness Prince Jimne Namgal Wangchuk of Bhutan, His Royal Highness Prince Yuyin Wangchuk of Bhutan, and Her Royal Highness Princess Sonam Yangden Wangchuk of Bhutan returned to Timpu this morning. Meanwhile, the King visited the Padma Bridge. According to the Royal Court of Bhutan, the bridge, quote, was inaugurated in 2022 by the Prime Minister of Bangladesh and is regarded as one of Bangladesh's major achievements in infrastructure development. The bridge, which connects 13 districts of Bangladesh to other regions of the country, is expected to boost the nation's GDP and economic activity in the southwestern parts of the country. End quote. In the afternoon, the king, accompanied by a Bhutanese business delegation, participated in a meeting with the ambassador of Japan to Bangladesh, the executive chairman of the Bangladesh Economic Zone Authority, and government officials from Bangladesh and Japan at the Arayazar Special Economic Zone. Thereafter, the king and his delegation visited the Singer Bangladesh factory in the Special Economic Zone. In the late afternoon, their majesties, King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan, accompanied by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan and His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Abdullah II of Jordan, visited the central body of region of the Kingdom of Jordan to meet with local leaders and members of the Bani Sakar tribe. According to the Royal Hashmi Court, during the meeting, the king, quote, expressed pride to be among members of the Bani Sakar tribe commending their hospitality and dedication to Jordan, end quote. After the meeting, the king, the crown prince, and the prince attended an iftar, breaking of the fast, with men attending the meeting, while Her Majesty the Queen joined a group of women from the Bani Sakar tribe for iftar. Earlier in the day, the Queen held a meeting with the CEO of Save the Children International, Ms. Inger Ashing, at Al Husseini Palace in Amman. And finally, in Paris, Her Royal Highness, Princess Maria Chiara of Bourbon II Sicilies, as ambassador for fine jewels, participated in an event at Sotheby's. I had no idea what she did, but her sister was there. Yay, Bourbon to Sicilies. No, really, I like them. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Thursday, March 28th, with all the latest world news. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful afternoon and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Okay, again, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.